Y'all, okay, so I got a confession. And um, it's mainly... So we've been truck drivers for two years now. We started out in track the trail and we're currently driving this 40 foot straight truck. But majority of our trucking career, we didn't have this. If you are currently a truck driver with at least three months under your belt, then you have probably seen some pretty rough accidents on the road. And to make matters worse, there are four-wheelers out there who are willing to risk their lives to either prove a point or find some sort of financial gain by jumping in front of our semi-trucks and doing what is called brake checking. If you were involved in this accident, what proof do you have that it wasn't your fault? truck right now she's looking over the low board trying to see if we can find a good load that's going to help us meet our goal for this pay week because today is the last day if you're new to this channel uh, we share our adventures through the trucking industry we're currently driving this 40 foot truck here and um, if you're interested in content like that adventures of a married couple in the trucking industry make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because we upload between one to three times per week in 2020 now, um, the reason you all came to the video is because I showed a thumbnail of a truck getting brake checked and I just wanted to kind of discuss a device um, that every trucker should consider having, probably every driver, but every trucker should consider having. Uh, let me go ahead inside the truck so I can show you it. Come on, Nikki. Well, not only is it going to South Carolina, we won't be able to drop it to tomorrow meaning we won't hit our goal and do you want to leave ourselves open a little bit longer okay you you just want to be a high forward and try to get our week uh started off yeah okay how much you want to put in for it Everyone, I want to take the time to shout out one of our supporters, the Dollface Trucker. She actually has a YouTube channel, so please check her out, Dollface Trucker, as well as her website, dollfacenation.com. We want to thank you so much for taking out that time to visit our website and show us support. And we hope that you are truly finding what it means to live life for living. Anyone else, if you want to support and get your own merch from us, please visit our website at nickandcarla.com. And if you want to be featured on the channel like Dollface Nation, then submit an email with your selfie to booknickandcarla at gmail.com. Thanks, everyone, for your love and support. Peace. Rock waves in the summer and then grow that fro in the winter. That's kind of like how the men, how some of them, they'll grow their beards out in the winter. Oops. Look at me about to break it already. Shit. <laughs> Y'all, okay, so I got a confession. And um, it's mainly... So we've been truck drivers for two years now. We started out in track the trail and we're currently driving this 40-foot straight truck, semi-truck. We love it. Um, but majority of our trucking career... We didn't have this. 
we should have had this. And there's times where, um, where, like, for example, uh, okay, so for those of you who don't know, there is brake checking that goes on. Yes, little bitty cars try to get bold enough, or they get bold enough to jump in front of these huge trucks. And we just have this 40-foot um, truck. The most it can weigh is like 53,000 pounds. When we were track the trailer, the most we would be at like 80,000 pounds. And we can't stop. You know the same way that cars can stop and i don't think a lot of cars know that we call them four-wheelers and they'll jump in front of you if they get mad or if you didn't let them if you didn't get over when they were trying to get on the highway or if they feel like you were driving too slow or something like that then some of them they'll have that type of road rage where they'll get in front of you and they will brake check you so they will get in front of you and they will hit their brakes hard um in hopes of scaring the shit out of you not realizing that they could really lose their life or they could fuck their car up right or they could mess their car up um and i was actually in a situation like that it's like i was driving and it was this pickup truck and like i couldn't get over because it was a car on the other side of me he didn't see that um he was trying to get on the highway he got mad so what he did just like you saw in the beginning of the video in the intro video he jumped in front of me and he slowed all the way down but me luckily Carla like to joke with me sometimes I drive like an old woman and I like to keep a lot of distance I don't like rolling up on people like that so I was able to you know slow myself down to where I wouldn't hit him or smack him in the back did you ever have a situation like that so when cars are merging onto the interstate they can't see what's on the left side of you they just see that you can't that you're not getting over mm -hmm. but if we're not getting over it's for a reason it's either that somebody's on the side of us or we can see a car coming up at a good little pace but i've had somebody do me like that was mad mm -hmm. i guess they felt like i didn't let them on the interstate they didn't went all the way driving on the median in front of me and then like start slamming on their brakes I even had somebody do me like that and they had some type of bright ass light on their truck and they was flashing the light like in my face yeah. and I'm just like just please just go on about yeah. your business yeah. you know and it's like you never that's just a bad situation period yeah just to be in Okay, y'all, so this, the dash cam that we got, now there are so many different options out there. Um, they have, like, what was the cheapest one we saw, babe? $11 on Clarence. <laughs> $11 it was in, It was in 720 Yeah, at 720p. Yeah, the resolution was 720 Um, It didn't have night vision. No, But they had another one that was, like, $20, um, and it had night vision and all that. And I'm not saying that they are good cameras. I can't really vouch for them because I've never used them for, for, um, I'm just saying that, um, there are options that you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on dash cams. Cause that's what I thought in the beginning. Like when I first came out here, I thought I was gonna have to spend hundreds of dollars on it, which even if I did, it's still worth it because you also have people out there, babe, we didn't talk about, um, who, uh, try to do the insurance fraud. Oh, oh. The guy just pulled up in front of me and just stopped. He was trying to do like some insurance fraud or something. What the heck? I was honking my air horn at him for like, I don't even know how long. You have cars out there who will actually purposely jump in front of semi trucks. Um, and they'll slow all the way down in hopes that you hit them. Now, a minor hit for us is something, could be something major for our car. And, um, when that happens and they can cash in and, and get money and it's a lot of that, that goes on uh, in the Northeast and because we have really been playing around in the Northeast 
uh, we wanted to make sure that we had our camera because this is actually going to be our official time actually just staying in the Northeast. But I've heard it happening all over uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, um, South Carolina, just Texas, all over. You know, crazy thing happened to Texas. <laughs> but, um, so, but yeah, so we wanted to get this camera. Now, the camera we have here, it's the United. Um, this was actually $59.99 at Walmart. They have, of course, different cameras. You can go hundreds of dollars and you can go, um, you know, uh, down to $20, like we said before. Uh, it records good at night. That was important for me because I know we drive at night too. Um, it also had, now I didn't really need this. It has the dual camera where it can record inside the vehicle as well as outside. I don't want recording inside my vehicle. Um, however, I do like how you can have this camera face front and then this little swivel. You can turn it tilted a little bit to the side so maybe get more action that you wouldn't be able to get if you just had this one camera so i thought that was pretty dope um it does record in 1080p uh hd and yeah so uh oh and already came with that 16 gigabyte memory card too and see that was another issue i faced when we i tried to i thought about getting the cheap when we actually got it but um it needed an eight gigabyte mega mega uh, eight meg eight gigabyte uh, memory card and I couldn't find it for some reason so I got this adapter because we have uh, two a two cigarette lighters up there now that works and I needed this will give me three so um, that allows me to have my Garmin GPS plugged in the dash cam as well as the um, cell phone charger <laughs> Okay, so anyways, um, I'm glad that we were able to make this video. Um, and some, and, and it, it's not even not only to, I guess, let the new truck drivers know what they should consider getting. Damn, <laughs> what they should consider getting uh, when they come out here, but also to remind the drivers who are currently driving now, because like I said, we knew about dash cams. We should have been had one. It's just for some reason, it just wasn't at the top of our priorities, which it should have been. And I think we really lucked out because like you see, both Carla and I had scenarios where it could have, you know, it could have ended in us smacking the back of somebody and their word against ours. You know what I'm saying? So, um, even if you just get a little cheap dash cam, you know, some where you can barely make out the picture, but you can see where the car jumps in front of you and brake or, you know, anything or where the car runs a red light or anything, you know, to protect you. It will be like your witness. I really think that every truck driver should get a dash cam because it could not only save your CDL in a situation, it could save your career, it could save the way you make money. Because a lot of us who do this truck driving, um, we don't really want to go into a regular mundane lifestyle like we used to have. So, you know, you do what you can. And, uh, yeah. I guess we'll keep watching this low board to see if we can, uh, get my coconut oil. If we can get us a, um, a load to maybe reach our goal for today. And we'll keep y'all posted on that. And uh, also, if you did like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell because we will be uploading between one to three times per week in 2020. Um, and you'll get notified every time we upload a video. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell right now. I want to thank everyone for watching this video. <laughs> Peace. I'm doing something to you? to drink coffee today. Oh, yeah, then you may not need to if your um, stomach feeling like that. Ugh. I probably had two things I shouldn't have had yesterday. I feel like I had an old animal. I need <laughs> coffee and salad. That's disgusting. Just, so, nothing on that low board so far, huh? 
damn, we just need a few hundred more dollars to reach our goal. Shit. Y'all, Carla is not feeling too well. And what's going on with you today, Carla? Nikki gave me her shit. <laughs> What really happened to you, honey? Honey bear? I don't know. We went to this... I don't think I can think of it's this restaurant we went to. And that's the thing. So, like, okay. So, we first and foremost, we hung out in Philly. We had a fun time. And it was nice not having to worry about vlogging and all. I guess vlogging really did take a lot out of me. But we hung out in Philly, and we was just trying different things. And... Uh, those of y'all may know, some of y'all may not know, because when we post on the Instagram, people are like, what, y'all not vegan anymore? We're not vegan, we're not vegan. I've never been vegan. Okay, I've yeah. always said I was colitarian. I do whatever I want to do yeah. when I want to do it. And it's, like, and it's good when you do that, because anytime you attach yourself to a diet, yeah. a fad, anything, we're not keto, we're not vegetarian, we're not pescatarian, we're not whatever the fuck you want to... We just try to have a balanced lifestyle. Yes, exactly. It. And it's been like that for a minute. Yeah. And I know everyone does not watch all of our videos, so they're not going to, you know, know. Yeah. But anyways, babe, so we went to this uh, restaurant. Tell them what happened. What did you try? Uh, what did I... What was that? Like a Jamaican beef patty? Oh. Is that what it... It was a Jamaican beef patty, and then it was some type of Caribbean egg rolls or something. Y'all. <laughs> when I tell y'all, as... If y any of y'all watch Trey King, I'm telling you, I got the blind shits. <laughs> and if anybody know what the blind shits is, honey, please just leave a comment. I ain't gonna go into detail, but that's what I got. <laughs> So, and y'all already know, like, and that's another thing about when we talk about, like, being intimate in this trucking world, because we do and see a lot of each other that you got to really love the person to deal with it. And, um, we're thankful that we had this little guy right here. Unfortunately, he had to take all that in. He sure did. <laughs> and I'm glad I had it, because it wouldn't have squeezed it to no cup or no ball. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so yes we gotta empty this bad boy um and we at this rest area so that's gonna work out just fine we'll probably go in there and uh just dump it because it needs to be dumped you know what i'm saying um and it's just the real life of, of how this shit really goes down but uh so anyways i guess i'm gonna turn on some netflix and um we're gonna wait it out we're gonna see how this day play out um really really close to our goal Hopefully we can hit it. So let's see how this play out, y'all. That's how come when you said something about a list, I was like, Lord, I'm not ready to start shopping for her now. I guess we might as well take this trash. And uh, we're getting ready to try to dump this toilet. Now, Carla, she read some of uh, her. Let me see. She read some reviews on Trucker Pat. Trucker Pat, like, they be lighting places up. They sure do, they but, okay, so what, did, they, did it sound bad what they were saying about this one, babe? Yeah, they said this motherfucker need to be towed down. <laughs> <laughs> they complained about the uh, parking spots and everything. Let me see here. So, lot is full, which I can agree because there's not a lot of parking spots. Cause it says it's only five parking spots, but we're, clearly we're fitting in way more. Yeah, if people park right. Yeah. If people like, park right. Yeah. Okay, so 2 p.m. and it's already overflowing. Of course, it's only five spots. <laughs> uh, let's see. BSA giving out coffee. Let me look at the other reviews. Could have one more spot if drivers knew how to pull in tighter. See? Yeah, that also that's what you were saying. Mm -hmm. Uh long dupe dong was deep inside Katie Morgan for a very, very long time last night. Uh, okay. I don't think that was supposed to be <laughs> <laughs> Only porta potties? They only got porta potties in there? 
State police looking at stickers. Well, make sure your shit right. Restrooms are closed, only portable toilets. Okay, so that was uh, nine, ten months ago. Okay. So we're going to go in this bathroom, and we're going to see how bad it looks, and uh, we're going to try to dump this toilet. Um, do, we, do you think we should still bring the bleach and all that? I don't know. Yeah, and then we can swish it in there and then pour it out so it can be, you know, fresh. Man, here we go, y'all. Hopefully, it don't look too bad. Oh, some parking spots. This ain't lot is full, but that's because people are in and out right now. I wonder if that's somebody we know, Lord. Let me get out the way. Ooh, this thing is heavy. We dev and the thing is, we ain't even have it in there that long. But for some reason, we were just really shitty. This uh, this go around. This say closed. No, oh, girl. <laughs> I'm glad we. <laughs> oh, that's bad. It's not. That was well. Maybe you know, this mainly men on that damn app. So maybe they talking about their situation. From them cleaning, and this ain't no pee pee. Just walk around. His car is turned to dump. And plus, I think she's done the most damage this go around, so. Don't be telling her. <laughs> so, we just gonna let her uh, roll my sleeves. Uh. I'm gonna shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need to see this. chemicals in there so that um it like holds off the smell and plus we clean it this is the first time we're not getting the opportunity to properly clean it but like I was saying this is our first time that we're not going to get the opportunity to clean it with like soap and water um, and it really don't smell bad. It's just disgusting the thought of it being, you know, what it is. Just to give y'all an update on the loads and how they've been going, um, they have sent some things through. We, you know, placed in our offers, and we're noticing that it's some loads that we should have done differently. Um, but again, we're learning. And we said we're either gonna go big, meaning we're gonna go down to like Florida and take a nice chunky load, or to California, or we just gonna pitter patter in this little area. And um, just try to get like one to two loads in a day. Cause if we can do that, then it'll really be good. Like when I say one to two loads in a day, like 200 mile loads, 300 mile loads, stuff like that. Sometimes even a hundred mile loads. So I guess we'll keep y'all posted and we'll see y'all next time. I think Carla's about finished up in here. Yeah. Now we got us a fresh toilet. Who gonna do they uh, dirt first? I hope I had enough blind sheets to last me for the next couple of days. <laughs> so hopefully you. I can bless it first.
So before we went to empty the toilet, we were presented with an offer to take a load from Pennsylvania to Miami, Florida. And because we don't really have interest in going that far south, we did send a pretty high bid. And this is how that all played out. Okay, I just want to say this real quick before I end the vlog. Um, as soon as we got back in the truck, they um, they tried to see if we could go a little cheaper on the load uh, as far as what we um, countered. And uh, Carla is sticking to her guns. Uh, they even... They sent it through the Qualcomm, and then they uh, try to call on the phone, and Carla is still sticking to her guns. <laughs> so I guess now we're gonna see if um, if they really want us to run that load down to Miami, Florida. If so, then we will be headed there. I think I'm gonna try to put that in this vlog, so I won't even because right now I'm editing. Like I just pulled the toilet, all that off. So I said I'm not gonna end the vlog until we know are we going to Florida or are we not. Okay, babe, I just got a text message. They said they finna send something through. Um, where your phone at? Um, maybe I'll come. How are you? It's probably finna come through on a Qualcomm. You a hot ass miss. <laughs> yeah, Qualcomm be sticking to her little gun. It's certain lows, you know, like, uh-uh. Because that's how we're at the bottom of Florida. Let me see if... um. It ain't even that. It's more so when you send something and they come back and say, what well, will you do it for this? That's how you know they need your ass. Oh, it's not that, though. It's a different load. From PA to my... Oh, it's the same one. Oh, they approved it. <laughs> Guess we're going to Miami. If you've enjoyed the video, then do us a favor and hit that like button because it helps us out a lot. Subscribe to the channel for more content, and we'll be uploading one to three times per week at 6 p.m. Central. So hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time we upload a video. Thanks everyone for your love and support. Peace.